Air and Besant Park did not look how it usually does today. Pirates have invaded Panama City Beach and festivities were happening all day. As News 13's Courtney Evans tells us, some pirates say the real treasure is the sandy beaches and emerald green waters. Pirates took over Panama City Beach this weekend. The Pirate of the High Seas and Renaissance Festival began on Friday and on Saturday the evil pirates created some chaos. But Panama City Beach would fool them once again and only let them have the best treasure to exist. Every year on Columbus Day weekend we tell the tale. And every year he gets fooled and they feed him the wrong treasure. And then we parade through the streets and set off a wild display of fireworks. And then we beg to stay in the city so we can enjoy the real treasure, which is the white sandy beaches and, and the emerald, emerald green water. A father and daughter even came from New Orleans to enjoy the festival and celebrate their ancestors who were pirates. We heard about the pirate festival, the Sheraton, the Mesa, stored into the beaches and whatnot, so we couldn't resist the competition. Residents look forward to this event too. Glenda and Bobby Buckland have attended this event for several years. Oh, we've seen a lot of pirates going around here. We've seen a lot of excited children that like to get pictures with pirates. We've seen a little baby pirate with a buggy that's shaped like a ship, a pirate ship. So we've seen all kinds of stuff going on. Pirates come in all forms. Whether it's the evil, the good, or the young pirates, there was something for everyone at the event. Oh, there's live music, there's food, there's entertainment, there's booths with stuff for sale. Saturday's events concluded with a parade through Pier Park and a fireworks show. In Panama City Beach, Courtney Evans, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you missed out on the treasure today, the Pirates of the High Sea Festival continues tomorrow. Visit our website, mypanhandle.com, for more information.